I just realized when my tummy gets empty, my brain stops working. Don't worry, I'm loading up Yu Gi Oh! So today's a little different. We're gonna end DM. We're gonna end my suffering Thank with this era of Yu Gi Oh! Technically, we ended DM. We just go into the reprint set. We're do. Yeah, I mean. We ended DM, but we're gonna do a send off for it with reprint sets. Um, we're gonna be doing Dark Beginnings one and two. Dark Beginnings one and two. Yeah, I mean, why we... not? Why not Dark Beginnings and Dark Revelations? You want to do both? Because here's the thing: Dark Revelations have four editions and dark revelations 4 goes up to elemental energy and that's a set like it's beyond uh lost millennium does it it is check the check the, the cover of dark beginning revelations 4 there's the oh. elemental hero shiny flare whitman oh, that, that sets in order uh no not that this Well, Dark Be Yeah, check Dark Revelations 4. Dark Revelations 4? Dark Revelations 4 has Sh Elemental Hero Shining Flare Weakman, and that comes way later. Dark Revelation 4 is after Gladiator's Assault. Yes. So, I was thinking, Dark Revelations, we have to do it way after. Or we should do, oh, oh, okay. We can do Dark, dark Relations 3. We can actually do Dark Relations 4 once we go past Gladiator's Assault. How about that? Okay, I'm starting to see what you're saying as I'm looking through the, I'm looking through the list and it's like, oh yeah, this is all close to where we are right now. Uh, see, that's the issue. So we can probably wait we can probably put the Dark Revelation sets on hold mm -hmm. for now. And get the sweet, sweet moolah of Dark Beginnings 1. I'm gonna put some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! low pie. Uh, what's in Dark Beginnings 2 and when does that come out? Uh, okay, here's the thing. Dark Beginnings 1 is the midi, midi ripping set. Dark Beginnings 2 has like it's not as good as Dark Beginnings 1, I'll be honest. Dark Beginnings... Dark Beginnings... Dark Begin... Okay, I'm trying to find it. Where'd it go? <laughs> Dark Beginnings came out... After Lost Millennium. So... Technically, we can afford to do this. We can do... We can do um, Dark Beginnings 1 and 2. Yes. Hmm. All right. Today is gonna be a doozy because this is a good chance to get like you Old know staples. Let's go. I'm actually very excited. I might be kind of scared about this about this one. You're scared. I mean, let's face it. We're gonna get like very powerful crap cards in the set, for good or bad. We'll see what happens. All right. How about we do this? We're going to do 24 of Dark Beginnings and 24 of Dark Beginnings 1. I mean, okay. 24, 24 each. 24 each. Yeah. And we just use the whole pool for one uh, fight, right? What? How we usually do it? Normally, we open each pack. Oh, okay. We're going to do, we're gonna do the same, right? Yeah, we're gonna do it how we usually do. Alright, let's start with Dark Beginnings 1 then. Yeah. Alright, let's go. And I guess I should mute right now. Wait, yeah. Let's mute. Alrighty, alrighty, where's the... Oh shit, where is it? 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 I missed it. I missed it. Hold on. Hold on, Hunter. I just suddenly realized something. What happened? 
These packs have 12 cards in them each. Okay, let me check. How much was the the case or the display box of the beginners one? How many top booster packs were in the card in the pack? L let's check before that. Let's check how many boosters were in each display box. I know, man. I'm looking it up right now. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna search. Booster box. 24 packs per box. It's 24? Oh my god, it's yep. meaty! Alright, let's do it. It's 24. Alright. All right. Go. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. I'm kind of liking this. Alright, Dark Begin is one. And you. This is gonna be a doozy, guys. For those that actually played Yu Gi Oh! back then, the reprints from this set were like golden. Like really, really powerful. You have no idea how powerful these cards were. All right, let's see. Yes, cool. <gasps> Wait, what's this? What's that sound? Da -da -da. Okay, yeah, the defender. Okay, come on, hundred is good, really good. Polarization, yes. The rest. All right, all right, all right. It's good. It's good. What do you have here? A commander, someone a bell. Nice, neat. Fake trap, the missile, gamble, monster recovery. World Cyber Jar, my god, stop it! Stop it! Any Hain, Mother Grizzly, this. <gasps> oh, I remember now. Exodia parts, Jar of Greed, Gamble, So Despair, let's go. Sermon Bell, Arm Ninja. Koji Koji, another piece of Exodia, stop it! Stop it! Ooh, Drapple! Nice! Fairy with your crush, Rush Reckless is a good one. Mask of Darkness, let's go! Red Archery Gero, Chain Destruction, Fairy Box, Light Intervention, Giant Grenade. Giant Renate's a good one. The World, Mask of Darkness, Mystic Lamp, Shining Angel. You'd love to see that. Ba -da -ba. Oh, I have to change my the stream. I have to stream, change the stream something. Hang on. Shadow Eyes, Monster Reborn! <laughs> All the distraction. <laughs> Stop giving me parts of Exodia. Uh, oh my god! You have a turtle? Oh, that's a good one. Spell by the Circle is good. Gravity Bind. If I get another Gravity Bind, I actually can't make it in Sodia deck. Cards of Save Return. Beautiful Turtle, Lavering Wall. Masaki. Flight Kamakiri! I want rats. Give me rat. I don't pay with the crush, no. Giant Germ. <laughs> Shuji, the Celtic Guardian. 
Global Monster Celtic Guardian, Darrow Gree, Jump Defender, Black Pendant. Okay, I don't want another Black Pendant. Please stop it. Flying Kamakiri is good. Hey guy. Hades. Second Call of the Haunted. Toll. No way! That was a nice rest trick. Also, Jason, it was funny for a while, but Jason, Jason, Jason Borghese, you have to go. Let me touch you. Let me make you disappear. Alright, alright, hang on, party Jason, there we go. Just send a new Curse of Dragon. Solemn wishes, like for sword, chain energy, mask of curse, the fiend mega cyber. Huh. Don't see me giant with a turtle. I'm gonna eat my, my lasagna. Hang on. Celtic Guardian. Oh wow, this is a bad this is a bad pack. Full common. Egg trap. Confiscation. <laughs> Ear breed. That's actually kinda of good one. Fast juggler. Giant grenade. Another shallow grape, let's go. Mystic Lab, Gush and View. Shift. Come on, give Papa what I want. Gear print, it's not bad. Big eye. Something garnet, tells me no. Okay, that's not that's not a good one. That's not a good one. Give me something good. Give me something good. That sword beast. Oh, okay, my luck is going. <laughs> no way. I. 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 I should. <laughs> just dear God. I feel bad for Animal Land. Hey, funny bird. Confiscation. <laughs> Fable show. Manager. Oh yes, Manager Bug. I love to see you. Love to see this guy. Dimension Hole. Giant Germ. Boom! Something skull. Remember me, just in Ryu. Okay, that's more packs. <laughs> Game. I mean, wait, beige. Stop it. Ah, okay, another polarization. I'm, I'm golden. Now I'm golden. All right. I want to eat my food before this one roll. Boom. Hmm. Hmm. The 
double missing your piece. If I get ahead of Exodia, I can actually play a funny, a funny, a funny set. Cease fire! Tama, eternal rest. Third piece of Exodia. G. So. This is gonna be a good one. Like, oh boy, oh boy. And I was right. This, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. This is gonna be really, really fun. All right, now let me load up. Okay. I actually need to think this really, really through because this is gonna be a doozy. I'm gonna add this to my collection. Three, two, one, go. I was thinking I could do something, and then I realized, nah, I couldn't. You read the card? No, I... No, I was, um, trying to see if I could exchange a card for something. Uh... You have the situation too, right? What? You have the same situation as I. But I think you have to do... You can actually think... I think you can do it with the same rarity of this same set. Yeah, but we can't uh, trade out for another forbidden. Yes. For band cards. Yes, yeah. yes. You realize that. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna pull all the stops. I'm gonna pull all the stops. This is just gonna be strong. What does this thing do? Oh. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Hey, wait a minute, I can use wait no way. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I think this set is actually making me review all of my cards. Alright. This is gonna be one of those. This is gonna be one of those that I'll be actually racking my brain. You better think wisely. No way, I had this card. Holy shit, this changes everything. I had that card. All right, this changes everything. This actually changes everything. Please let me have it. Please let me have it. Please let me have it. Let's go. All right, so this goes away. What does this card do actually? 
Too many of too many of a good thing is a bad thing, and I just feel it now. Huh. Yeah, I have to reduce this one. Actually, no, this doesn't work in this, con this context. that I actually feel the disadvantage of having a good chaos monster. I mean, having good chaos in general. Ha, 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 ha. 
what does this guy do actually? Too situational. So Rainbow Six starts in five days from now, right? Starts on the 18th, so yes. Yeah, five days to get more Prime. More, or, I mean, more, more Originium. Wait, no, more, or more Orundums, I mean. Well, technically, technically, we do get a weekly refresh, so we can, we have like 3,000 uh, ish, uh, Orundum, free. True. Alright, fine, that seems like a good idea. God, my deck balance. Too situational. Yeah, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Uh... No, 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 no. I just realized Wabuku is not from a main set. No, it's not. It it's from, from Dex. Only from Dex. It was, I believe, Kaiba's struck, uh, Kaiba starter deck. And Yugi's uh, advanced deck also. Okay. Like, I really want Wabuku. I don't think you want Wabuku, but hey. Okay, I'm. I'm not sure. You're not sure if you're. I think this is. I think this is okay. Because I don't want to. 
yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Okay. It's not the not the direction I really expected myself to go in, but I think it's okay. Additional. That's the three. Okay. All right. Uh, rooms up. All righty. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. We gotta ex save, exit servers. The same as usual, right? Yeah. Anything goes. Traditional. Show lock rooms. There you are. And I think the password is night and say ah yeah use the usual password. Mhm. Mm there we go. Good luck out there. You too, chief. Mm, right. Nice. Now, should I? I want to go second. This hand sucks. Except this and this. You have a f wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's forty? You have a 52 card deck, Chief. Okay. What can you say? I like. I like what I get. I've made a mistake, but that's okay. Alrighty. Flip. And because I flipped summoned. Uh... Alright. With that, I get. Hermit Turtle. I summon the turtle. I attack. Boom. Then make this two. I set this face down. And end my turn. Okay. Alright, show me what you got, man. Oh my gosh, this hand is terrible. It's not gonna go well for you, man. I keep attacking my turtle. Then I am my turn. Go, turtle, go! Man, do I really want to burn this now? Fine. This is gonna look weird. Hi, El Age. How do you pronounce your name? Agent. Wait, you're talking with a. Why? I mean, I guess you have no options. Just E? Alright, E. Welcome! I'm just playing Progressive Series with my friend here, Animal Man. Hi. Hi, Smashing Ground. I hate this. I said this. I said this. There you go. How's your day, E? You had a good day? Here we have comfy, fi comfy vibes in the void. Just chill around and everything will be fine. How about you? Oh, I'm doing fine. I'm actually hanging around with my friend here, Animal Man. Playing card Hi. games, chilling around. I play Genshin like way before the stream. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of different stuff. All right. What we have here. All right. What's this? Okay. What do you have? Oh shit! That's bad because you know what I have now. Oh, energy! Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome. Here, have some noodles that I had. It's on the house. I'm gonna put it up here. 
I hope you have eaten well. Alright, what do you have, Chief? Okay, there's a creator. You still have PLS. Most recarn okay, you have most reincarnation. Okay, you have a treasure tree with you can cross out? I got cross out. Ah, I wanted that. Did I put the right card in? Did I put Kata, you're looking at my deck. Did I put painful choice in? Yes, you put painful choice in. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know people choice is powerful because it's gonna be more powerful in the future, but why now? I mean, I get you can actually dump a lot of cards you don't want your to your graveyard, but Jeez, oh man. Okay. I don't know what to Hunter, your deck is literally a pile, and I have no idea how to how to tackle it from here. Uh... Hey, I like to be unpredictable. Giant germ. Wait, what? To be fair, I actually wanted Momonga more more than the germ. But hey, the germ is actually strong too. What type of what type is that deck? Oh, um, we're actually oh just playing gosh, as a progression bad. progression series. You know those series that we the, the guys open a bunch of uh, packs from a display box and they make decks around that we're playing with traditional format and each week we're gonna open a new uh, set going forward oh you get it that's good that's good exile horse oh wait wait you have Okay, okay, I have destruction, you have that card. Alright. Let's just see what you have here. <sighs> Spy, alright. What do you think is the best deck? That is actually a hard question. Uh, right now, because I haven't been keeping up with the Yu Gi Oh! Meta metagame. I have no idea, but I have seen like many different decks in my life. I have seen Orcus being used, then I see Shadow being used. I've been in a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh eras. I have been the day I have been there with Teledad was a thing. I have been there oh. before Dark Strike Fighter was banned. So. I Are you talking experience. about best deck period or best deck at current? I think it's talking about best deck period. I don't um, know. Basically, <laughs> we cannot. I can't say because the meta game or the game will actually keep evolving, or there's going to be a, a new uh, battle list that will change shit up. So we can. I can actually give you a right answer. I forgot a very important thing to do. To switch to attack mode? I forgot to. Oh my goodness. Alright. Give me. Give me more, more card draw. That's good. That's actually really good. Great Raptor is still the best deck. Did they actually Ray buff Raptors? Ray Raptors? I mean... Uh, I, even I don't know, man. Remember Ray Raptors being powerful, yes, because they got, like, Rack of Magic and many other bullshit. And they got, like, a, a lot of support. Almost as much as Blackwing back, back in the day. Because, oh my god, Blackwings were, like, barely but supported. Best deck, though? Mm. Tall order. Like, if I actually want to think about a best deck, a uh, Raid Raptor mixed? Oh, no, pure. Mixed with what? Yeah, that's a good question. It depends with what's mixed. Is this PK? Or Phantom Knights? Uh, 
Mix okay, with, the, um... the mix with Band of Knights is actually something that I would actually understand. Like, is it Raiders? <laughs> All right, Poor what's Ra what's over there? Oh, Phantom Knights and Tenji. Okay, if that's the case, I can actually understand because Phantom Knights I is cannot. like a no, 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 I can't. I need some explanation because Tenki only searches Beast Warriors. No, I think he refers that Tenki more than search is more than the effects on the graveyard. I don't remember. Okay, my tanky? memory. Fire formation Tenki? No, no, not Tenki. Tenji for special summons. It's another type of cards, Animal Man. Oh, Tenji. Yes. Tenji. I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to look at your hand, but I hop, had to hop over to chat to see what was going on. It's oh, like, yeah. It's like, oh, Tenyi. I still have no idea how that works, though, because of what Tenyi does. Uh, very minimal idea what Tenji does, but so I Tenyi am actually a... very, very, uh, like, outdated. So Tenyi, the way Tenyi works is it's a archetype of non-effect monsters. No, yeah, they're like worms, non-effect, but they have the perk that actually special summon themselves really fast. Yeah, they special summon themselves when there's no uh, effect monsters on the field. So the thing is, you do that, you get so a they... free special summon, then. Uh, you just go uh, Phantom Knights with whatever you have, and I think you go your exit bullshit at the start because you have like one extra one material. Oh my god! All right, all right. But um, how how does Tenyi work with Raid Raptors? I want to see that. There are some combos. But I forgot about them. Also, the two black wing. Hmm. All right, chief. All right, what do you have here? You have. Okay, okay, I can actually. I'm gonna take my faith. I'll take my faith. The deck you make was based on OTK and extra deck. Ah, it's combo. Yeah, okay, it's it's combo. Yeah, but the combo with Tenji and Phantom Knights. <laughs> Skybar! Hello! Thank you for the five bits! How you doing? Are you, are you feeling better from your sickness? Punch the spy! Punch the spy! And I trigger that effect. I'll break this baby out. And I keep attacking. I have to look at sleep. I'm still sick. Take care, Skyheart. Thank you for thank you for coming by. And I did a combo, I need to have 5 exceeds and 1 link. How can I remember? Oh, you reminded me... Okay, this is a, like a very old era of Yu-Gi-Oh! That... I remember Zodiac. The prime days of Zodiac. That way they actually overlaid and overlaid and overlaid and... You couldn't do anything. That was way back. You remember Zodiac, uh, Animal Man? I remember Zodiac, and that wasn't too, too far back, like... I mean, no, the shenanigans the Zodiac had... But now there's Kaiju. Ah, yes. Before Kaiju existed, like, so you couldn't do nothing to Zodiacs. I'm sorry, Kaiju? Ah, uh, you know, the Kaiju monsters. Kaijus. Kaiju. I thought you said Kaiju. I'm like, what? <sighs> no, okay, no, no. Be... I mean, 
regardless of what happens, I just want to yeah. know what's also, in your hand. Yeah, we had Caillou, and now we had like the big meteor guy. Oh. Huh. It's your choice, Chief. Nibiru, yes. To be fair, if I didn't have to choose between Kaiju and Nibiru, I'd actually take Nibiru. It depends on the time, because Nibiru, like, dumpsters combo, but if there's not enough combo, uh, not enough combo within the format, then, like, what are, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Also, Nibiru counters, yeah. How you counter Nibiru is like basically you don't overextend yourself. Well, you can. Well, here's the thing. Like you can play around Nibiru, but some decks can still. Oh wait, I forgot this was a fake. But you can still. You can still um. There are some decks that can still play through Nibiru. Like there are some decks like really doesn't depend on, on special summon and just get their beat sticks out. And just no, go not even. Out. Like, even if you overextend and get Nibiru, you can still. There are some times where it's like, you know what? This is still okay. Oh, Sangan. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Oh, God, Cyber Dragons. I remember the days uh, of the ABC Cyber Dragon decks. That, those decks were like pain. ABC you remember? Cyber Dragon? That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad, dude. They could get ABC out, and ABC had like floating abilities. They he could split into his parts. They could actually get rid of ABC that reliably, and you can actually mix it up with Cyber Dragons. Oh, you cheeky little! Earth, wind. What are you doing? Oh, I just realized your life. I just realized the life points. Oh. I just realized the life points. <laughs> I'm sorry. How am I supposed to play around one copy of Magic Cylinder? You have normal mana of extermination, right? But the problem is someone did is taking half of my life points. Yeah, you have to basically you have to actually see. Hmm, do I have actual resources of life to actually prevent that or not? I don't think we're at that point in the game where life points don't matter until they're done. Yeah, we're not at that point actually. You didn't get Solemn Judgment, right? I no. mean, if you got that, you would actually use it in your deck. Because it's that good. Like if... I mean, if I got Solemn Judgment, you would have seen it when I got Nobleman. Like... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're actually me reminding me of the, the good old eras of Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, no. When the transition from Exceeds to Pendulums was like the most painful moment in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. This mixed with a bit of Utopia cards. Ah yes, lately Utopia became like mm, a splashable sport. Like they got a new spells, they got like I don't know how many exit variants of Utopia that are actually used. And you can actually stack Utopia over Utopia over Utopia, and you get like uh, I think it was an OTK with double double up chance. Yes, that's that's a kind of bonkers. But yeah, Nibiru checks. Nibiru checks those Utopia decks. Okay, Chief. That's how we are we gonna do it, huh? Oh, Chief, no. 
Okay, it's not the worst. No, it is because I can do this. No, I, I, I know what Giant Germ does. Well, I just talked to you guys, but now I have to go do stuff. Okay, thank you, LGD. We're gonna do this, this progression every single uh, Friday. So you can come back at almost at this time, I will be here. It was nice to you for coming by. See you around. Thank you. Have a good, have a good day. All right. All right, Sabor, do your thing. Ah, I touched a bullet there. I'm actually glad I got like three copies of germ in this set because it actually gives me true material. Okay. Alright, I set this thing. And I end my turn. First things first. It's not a trap. No, at least it's not here anymore. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do. You don't have something, no way. I'm no actually way. thinking about it. No way. No, no, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. That. You get that. You actually get that. Are you kidding me right now? Now, there we go. 
because you actually yeah. destroy it uh, by effect because of Cyber Dark, it comes back. Yeah, it kind of has to come back. Yeah, and now it is my turn for my bullshit. Huh? Oh, this thing. Well then. Yeah, it had to happen eventually. I summon this guy. Why not having graveyard? All right, all right, all right. Is it the spy? No. D no way. No way. You're gonna get. Ah, this is gonna be bad. You can so, do this. You have an obvious I target. Have option. You have options. You have an obvious target, but you have an option. I got an idea. Sent it back to the wait. More I mean, targets? Yeah. Oh, the magician of fate. I forgot. Well, this gives me options, you know. I just want to get the spells out of your deck. Actually, that kind of helps me. At, at this what? point, at, at this point, I really don't want to draw a specific card. What's your hat? It's it's one card. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I. you have to give me life. Yeah, I know. Alrighty. Alright, Chief. Unless you drew cross out, unless you drew cross out. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna let it happen. You're gonna take a gamble. Uh huh. There's a cross out. Oh, I lost the gamble. First things first. Yeah, I'll take the chance. What do you have here? All right, I need to get it a far shot. Yeah, I'll take the damage. monsters in hand, which is good and bad. That one of those is that shoot. Alright, she? That's a shame, actually. That is actually a shame. It's not exactly a monster. But I can search for a monster. You have something.
Not today. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, I I want to test if this works. What do you have in graveyard? Who do I have in graveyard? I'll do the funky. I'll do the funky. You're gonna gamble twice? Don't tell me you're gonna gamble twice. Hmm. Hello from a total room, I'm trying to travel. Tell me, how you been doing? Are you are you doing well? Get some good rest. Also, I was playing Genshi because before you came in. I didn't get anything. No freaking way. I forgot you. Ah, yes, you can do that. I got back from my hotel room after the bell game. I have my conference tomorrow morning. Good luck out there. I know it's gonna be harsh. I know it's gonna be harsh. But I know. I think you can do just fine. You're a top girl after all. You know what, Chief? Thank you, Hanta. No, thank you, Telly. Thank you for being around. Thank you for being around. All right. I just realized I haven't been talking that much. I've just been all focused. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Where's your motivation? Oh, 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 Telly. I am always motivated. Draw a card for my deck. Yeah, you go, girl. And turn. All right. Now, should I take the easy way out or the wrong way out? No, let's take the normal way out. I'll get rid of that guy. I head down to the pool. Do you have a pool out there? Be still later. You too, Telly. Have a nice, have a nice swim. Relax, Ooh. relax your body. Please ignore the thought I had. <laughs> Please ignore the thought I had. Oh, like you have a trap card, all right, don't you? All right, trap card. Get rid of traps. I because I know what trap you had. You had a Nurse Red Swarmer. Alright, you go. Now, as long as you do not draw another Chaos Sorcerer, I'm fine. That's not gonna save you. Yeah, okay, 
I'm, I have to be. I have. I have to. I lose my. I lose the vampire ball, but I don't want to die. I set the car face down. Here we go. Kuretsu set. Oh yeah. wait. No, Did I check, no check my stream. It was all it was actually over. Check my check my hand. Oh, yep, okay. Yeah, I was yeah, I had to make sure. I had to make sure. And also I got Jinzo. I thought uh, you had Jinzo. Yes, you I you knew you I had Jinzo. You saw my deck with extermination after all. Yeah. But you got me scared back then. You actually learned the combos to use monster reincarnation to get back the chaos monsters. That is actually a good card, man. I'm the glad you actually. The problem I have is that the strategy I have is good. The one of I the one ofs I have facilitate the strat like really well, but I've nuked my consistency. Yes. You will believe that my consistency is crap because of my deck size. You have 52 cards. Cheer me out. Cheer you me have out. 52 cards, one Magician of Faith, one Upstart, and one Pot of Greed. Yeah. Along with a bunch of... You have tutors. I have a lot of... I have six tutors. Yeah. I have Monster Reward. I also, I have Cards of Safe Return. Because you've seen it, it has to trigger like three times. You have one copy of Card of Sacred Turn and one copy of Reborn. Remember, and that's a 52 card deck. Yeah, remember that Sacred Turn is banned, so we can actually only use one of them. Yeah, so I don't know how. <sighs> hey, you know my luck. Okay, it's a mix of luck. I actually know what actually makes me survive. And yeah, no, because. No, I know what to do. It's just like. How can you do it when your deck is massive? It's basically... In my, it in is a life, pile, Hunter. It, it is, is a, a pile. It is, actual, it, is, it is an actual pile. Yes, I, I'll admit. But if you realize, almost all this pile, most of it is a train. It's a one-off or an X for one. I have Monster Torrential Tree with Dark Hole, and Phoenix Green Blast actually buys turns. Side, side note, wheels up. Oh, wheels up. All right, let me, let me see. Let me see. Flip it up, flip it up, baby. Rare. All right, Dark Beginnings. What do we have for Dark Beginnings that is rare? Let me check it out. Dark Beginnings, one rare. Wait, if I know what is rare in this set, the rares in this set is good. Are good. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Are really good. Okay, Spellbinding Secret Circle. I have that. Snatch Shield is super rare. Ah, no, I didn't. No, Snatch Shield is an ultra. I couldn't get that. Force from Strength three. No. Doom Summoner Skull. No. Cyber Jar. No. Giant. Giant Rat. Dust Tornado, Magical Hats, Morphing Jar 2, Dark Hole. We missed Raigeki. We actually missed Raigeki. I'm actually sad about that. Summon Skull, Mansion of Faith. A second Mansion of Faith would be. Wait, Mansion of Faith is bad or limited? Neither. Neither. That's crazy. It's traditional, Hanta. It's not... It's... Faith hasn't been hit since, like, the old days. Jar... Three... Wait, no man! Of 
goes out is super? I believe so. Ah, that screws my plans. I wanted that noble mana cross out. We, I actually wanted the noble mana cross out. Like, I have an option. Yeah, it was super rare. Okay, I'll take one mission of faith. Fine by me. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, you know how many spell cards I have, right? You have a lot. And having one mission of faith is just like, no. Just no. And we're going Dark right. Beginnings 2, man. Dark Beginnings 2, let's get it. Alright, first I'm gonna add my mission of faith. Magician of Faith plus one. There we go, that feels good. All right, now, Flag Simulator. 24 cards, I mean, 24 booster packs. Yep. This one had also good cards. Let's see if we are getting lucky this time. Let's go. All right. All right, let me open up. not that good. I remember now, this set was not that good. Share the pain. Like griefer. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I'm happy. I'm actually happy. Vision gate. Let's get one soul to pure. I'll pop it the Magic Star Ruler, Luster Dragon, Thousand Dragon, Shadow Tamer, Royal Keeper, Bird Face, Shiny Friendship, Needle Wall. I remember using Needle Wall a lot. Book of Time! I'm going full zombie. I'm going full zombie. Mirage of Nightmares. so good the horn of heaven all right all right we're doing we're doing good we're doing good we're doing good little warm from the dawn fire kaiser seahorse This was, this was such a good card. Queen Headed Behemoth was such a good card back then. I mean, in Open Seal Yu Gi Oh! it was actually quite good. I 
I'm not an exiled wars. What the hell is this thing? Dark Falls or the Turtle? Dark Falter, Possessed Dark Soul, Frontier. Greed. Second witch. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Pro, don't die on me right now. Don't die on me. Oh, thank goodness. Horde of Heaven, level three. I mean, number three. Tremendous fire. No, oh, yeah, that. Penguin soldier. Let's go. Shield and sword. Sorry, that's good. Dark dust. Okay. It calmed down. It calmed down. No way. No way. I have the best seaboard online. Magic reflector. Urasame. Zombies, right? Why am I considering it? Exile 
force again. <laughs> yeah! Stop it! <laughs> Stop that! Game! Stop that! Don't give me more! I swear to god, Animal Man's gonna kill me! I mean, I'm gonna kill Animal Man, but oh my god, I'm gonna call him mommy. Diffusion! Catapult Turtle! Oh god! Oh god! What's the rare? Last! <laughs> Why? Why? Stop it! Stop it! Ooh. Okay, it calmed down. There's nothing surprising here. I don't excite more. Buddy, hello again. I got shafted. Bro. I got shafted so hard. I'm not gonna say anything. How's up, buddy? How are you doing? That Can means you didn't get shafted. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say I, that. Sometimes what you don't say speaks louder than what you do say. Let's leave it to your imagination, okay? Oh, goody. Alright, this is gonna be a doozy. And I think I'm gonna transition to zombies. I am gonna transition to zombies. And you're telling me this because... Because this pack, I has realized that had a lot of zombies. Alright, so... Oh god, I have to drop this thing. Funny! How are you doing? Everything okay? goes off but how have you kind of gotten shafted I, I don't you know what? I'm not gonna ask. It's not that bad, but I I'm disappointed. Yeah, I mean, Dark Beginnings One is not as good as Dark Beginnings. Dark Beginnings Two is not as good as Dark Beginnings One. In it's the not, comment. but at the same time, it's like. At the same time, it's like I didn't get what I really wanted. That's the that's what I'll say. I didn't get what I really wanted, but I can make what I got work. Mm, oh, wait a second. That tells me you got strong stuff, but not something that combos. Where'd it go? I'm not a monster. Ikirigatarerate It's like a big pile of good stuff. Alright, what 
what is redundant all right i'll take this out Calm down. Cold. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Use that count of that card. No, actually, I can get rid of those. I don't need those.
What is card do last night? I forgot. Okay. You ready? No. Oh! I want to use it though. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember why I love that card. All right, I'm gonna put one of those. I wanna put one of those. It gives it gives way for shenanigans. I just realized that both of us didn't get like ace monsters of the old video protagonist in Dark Beginnings 1. That's sad. Yeah, but oh well. to charge my cell phone. Hang on. My cell phone. Charge my cell phone. Mac 3, estás listo para tu afeitada perfecta. This 
is hard. This is really hard. You ready? I'm 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 thinking. I'm thinking really hard. All right. Don't crack that noggin too hard. Just... I am just stumped right now. too hard I mean 
you know core. what? Let's let's just do it. What was that? I what mean, the, the core of your deck, the chaos uh, one, is actually very solid. The only thing you have to update is like your spell of trap cards, something that gives you an edge about that. But um, yeah, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. All right, rooms up. All right. Because let's face it, you have BLS and you have a uh, triple Chaos Sorcerer. I have to actually be careful not to die for an ODK because you can actually multi summon in one uh, in one turn if, it, if the conditions are right. Right. Oh, it's not that shoot. some good punches in. Alright, it's time to say hi to my newest asset. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not, a, it's not that impressive, but hey. Here we go. Because you have snatch steel. My body, all right. Oh. 
well. That's unfortunate. Oh! Alright. Shit. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a tight situation. Wrong target, Chief. Huh? This goes back, this goes back. Strong. All right, I can attack without impunity. Come All on. Right. Wait, don't tell me you have yo. So you got some, you got some powerhouse. You you got some power up there. Yeah, I got something. And just to be safe. A bullet. I dodge a bullet. You only have one copy of MST. <laughs> yes, I do have a one copy of MST. Wait a second. 52 plus 8 plus 5. Your deck is 55 cards. Wait, did it increase? You didn't count? <laughs> no, I didn't count. Huh? I, I actually uh, didn't count. You didn't account for your deck size? What? Yeah, I just didn't. But I did account for your part, for the possibility of you having a chaos monster right now. There we go. I also got Book of Life. All right. Ah. I swear to God, every time I see that guy. Can I trigger? No. No. Such, such a shame. Bunny! Oh shit, what are you angry? Bunny? Did I do something bad? The guard. 
Never let your parents have Oh But But funny If you follow that logic Then you wouldn't be here You got hit by a How serious is it? How serious is it? Are you okay? Ah! Oh my god, I, I just saw the creator. You get home the hammer, yay! Yeah, but still, take care, okay? Getting hit by a car is no lucky matter. Cyber Jar! No way, is that a... For a second? I thought that was... I thought my body's a shield. Was that creature swap? No. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I saw... I saw... Two Chaos Sorcerer and a BLS. Are you freaking kidding me? And you forgot the name of this game? It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, um... Did I summon? Wait, I don't- I didn't summon. I didn't summon. I just didn't summon. Alright, I have to get rid of this thing. That's Cyber Jar. No way, you have something against that. No, I don't. Sorry. Bye bye, Cyber Jar. Uh, I set this one and your move. But, Bunny, they can say when you go home, rest your body and think of positive thoughts. Also, hey, you have free noodles. Free noodles! Oh, I just realized my life is all oh, you. Are you kidding me right now? Wait, what do you target? Ah, you missed! I missed? I mean, <clears throat> uh, you just hit a spell card. Why did you. S I mean, yeah, I did hit a spell card, but. Why'd you set this? Mind games. Mind games. Alright, All right, you wanna play mind games? Wait a minute. What your graveyard? Let me check your graveyard. Hang on a second. I know you have a parchet there. Yes, you have targets. What the hell are you What are you waiting for? Hang on, what do you have in my graveyard? Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's actually worth it. It is actually worth it. Do you have Parshat? All right, I'll get you. I'll get rid of Parshat. At least I have something to counterplay your light monsters, and that actually gives me some sort of relief. You gotta be okay. Okay. You want to play hell? mind games? No, sir. Oh. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Okay, I know three of those cards are chaos. And two, I don't remember. Hi, Reaper, how are we doing? We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I'm actually surviving by skin my teeth. There's one BLS. Yabe! No. 
Sir, return to the top of your deck. Okay, that's actually not good. Um, Alright, and because of that, I'll get back... Magician of Pain. something good. I just threw something good. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. It, it's actually... All right, get over here. And now, what do you have in your graveyard? Phoenix win do you have? Two. Two? Confiscation. That's not Snatch Steel. Oh god. I want you to guess what's in my hand. There's two Chaos Sorcerers in hand, and one Black Booster Soldier. No, because remember, after I, after you made me discard, pitch a card, I had to shuffle my deck. Oh so shit, So BLS is still in there. So, though, there were two Chaos Sorcerers from the Cyber Jar. Mm-hmm, yes. I hard drew my third one, and this draw I had was Dark Hole. Yeah, it wouldn't make no difference because the buffer log would come back again. Yeah. Oh god. When I summoned BLS first, I didn't know how you were gonna handle it, but I hoped it was gonna go to the grave so I could use it as a light target for one of the chaos swords. Yes, but I had to Phoenix Fiend Wind Blast because I know I can't let you have graveyard. And I got Kaiku now, so I can actually do some hate into your graveyard. But what what's actually kind of bullshit was the the bottomless trap for vampire lord musical space typhoon situation. Yeah, that. <laughs> Let's face it, that was actually bullshit from from my side. Mm. You have a fifty-five card main deck, and you're still figuring out what to side. Yeah, I am figuring it out. I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm your... I can actually predict what is gonna happen in your hand. So I got a card just for that. Oh dear. giant germ okay i mean it's obvious what happened here i 
I love this card so much. You, you said guess what's in your hand, and I'm like, all right, I'm, all right, whatever. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't imply that. I mean, it's obvious magic. It's it's logic. Why could I only summon one germ from my deck? You took something out. You took a germ out. Oh, oh. wait, or you had a germ in hand. Bingo. I mean, taking out tutors that is less than three is not optimal in any situation. About to say, like, I was, I was confused. It's like, wait. Okay, I know your your sets are either the Protective Magician or the Spy, so I I'm not so sure to attack right now. It was nine assailant. Oh yes. You have a witch. I pulled the witch. the pool oh you little big lad okay that actually hurt me that actually physically hurt me <laughs> fb9 right. they had a hot tub Woo! now that's you know pretty what? gossy Actually, physically hurt me. I don't know, man. It was like painful. <laughs> I'll take a look at my room. Show you. Show you. I'm in a bunk bed even now. Oh, that's a, you have a bunk bed too. I'm nice. gonna. I'm gonna keep it straight with you, Haunter. This pack has. This set has 20. We drew 24 packs of a set where all the packs had what. 12 cards in them? Yes. Sangan and Witch were rares? Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't get any more copies of Sangan and no witches. What? Wait, but that's almost impossible by probabilities. It's like it's like saying you go to the banner, this exclusive four star, and you get a four star in our decks. I didn't get Jay on his banner. You are you freaking kidding me? Also, I can take D so bad. J I didn't get Jay on the banner he came out on, so. <gasps> oh my God! You're so... gonna pay me for this. What do you have down there? It's a freaking cyber jar. All right. All right. That actually combos. That actually combos. Oh. I have two bottomless set. A third in hand. Mirror force in hand. Torrential in hand. Oh my! And shaft in hand. No wonder you actually confiscated for the Jinzo. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah, this was just. This was a steamroll. I'm sorry, man. Are you though? I mean, last week you steamrolled me. Yeah. what I was feared about because the dark beginning stacks is like a boon and a if you get it right it's a completely powerful boon but you now get here's it. the thing it's not like I didn't like succeed it's not like I didn't get like 
a baller amount of stuff. Yeah, you got Mirror Force. You got Mirror Force. That's... I got Mirror Force. I got Heavy Storm. I got Dark Hole. I got Snatch Steel. Yeah. I got Royal Oppression. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I was fearful of Heavy Storm when I saw it. I said, oh shit. Because I don't yeah. have Heavy Storm. I have Giant Grenade, which is actually better and worse in some situations. I have True Nate too, you know this. Yeah, I know that. But what I say my butt, okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'll be honest with you, but don't kill me. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I have I got from my collection that is actually worth it. And you I think you saw part of it. Alright, I, I got did. also the wheel is up. Alright, the wheel is up. Alright, hang on. Yeah. Let me see the wheel of fortune. Come on. Eat Papa something good. Stop the wheel. Oh, I... okay. What common is good in Dark Beginnings? Oh, you sent it? Hang on, let me check it, Telly. What commons are good in Dark Beginnings, too? I have no idea. Alright, let me check. I mean, I would actually ask for a new Exile Force because it's a common. But I have four Exile Force right now. I'm searching. Searching for commons. I better pull the entire Rainbow Six banner in like 30 pulls, or I'm gonna be upset. If I... this is how this, if this is how tonight went, I better pull the entire banner next week. Yeah. I I hope for your best luck. Thousands, turtle, grass cloud, dry gumo, blah blah blah, for fingers, star. Mendos Radiant, Joe Wen, uh, Shield and Sword, Robin Goblin, Heavy Storm. I know. I'm not on your desk. Hmm? I'm not on your desk. What do you mean? The jar's not on your desk. <laughs> oh! Shit! I forgot about that. I was busy with art with, with Genshin uh, this, this day, so I. Or God of Jar. All right, okay. Come on, get over here. There you are. Now it's just. I mean, I mean, I I don't know what, if it's worth it at this point because it's like, well, it duel, duel's over. Like, re reprint sets are over. Like, <laughs> I'll take a third word of real life. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, don't underestimate where it's really alive. <laughs> if you play heroes, this card was useful. Um. So now what? We have options. We could A. Jump right into Lost Millennium. B. Go to the day. Or C. Uh. I have no idea what C would be. What, play something else? Like... I'm actually racking my brain. What is fast, simple, that is not Pokemon Unite? I got my free copies of Warriors. Well, it looks like we're calling it a day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, I know, man. Like, okay, now I can talk about what I got and what I said. I can actually make a zombie shell out of this. Yeah, because Book of Life is a common. Yeah, Book of Life. Uh, I got Book of Life and Book of Moon. 
one each. Like, I got my play set of Book of Moon, which is amazing. <laughs> what? Like, were you using it? I was. You were using this play set? Yeah, it just never showed up. Oh. I don't, I don't get it. Also, I only did you get my Exile Force? Four. Huh? Do you get Exile Force? I have a playset now, yeah. Why are you using it? Because it messes up the consistency, Haunter. Like, I'm not running 50 plus cards. I'm not doing it. I mean, Exile Force is so, a 1v1. One, one one. It trades so, off and. <laughs> so, unless I figure out a way to, like. I mean,. Like, is... I'll have to nix my own, like, like, I see a spot where I can slot it in. Like, I easily see a spot where I can slot it in, but at the same time, it's like... I, 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 need, I need some time to think. Yeah, because the Exile Force, no shit. Even going into Cyber Dragon meta, and that meta was used. True, I used it more because I have Rhoda and I have Warrior Trina alive, so I can actually pump those suckers back in. I got Rhoda this set too, so. Why are you. Oh my god, why are you using Exile Force? Because I don't want to mess up the identity of the deck that I've made. Okay, that's fair. That's yeah, actually that's fair. The, that's the thing, because it's like, okay, here's my deck, here's its goal this is what I have to do to reach that goal and here are some things that can supplement that plan yeah in my case you I know can... what I mean yes I... I getcha I getcha because I can actually reduce my deck by four cards I can actually take out the Rhoda the Warrior Through Alive and the Exile Force and it gives you yeah. more slots less but Exile Force is like dude back in the day I used Exile Force and let's say I actually kind of fought the card so I, I slotted in because one, uh, favoritism, and two, it's actually a good card. The, like, card. the deck size, yes, I know the deck size takes a hit. But if you have like Pot of Greed, two Mansions of Fate, and cards in return, and cards that actually make bounce your, your cards, and two tours. I don't have a second Magician of Fate. That's why actually, when I, when I, I took the opportunity of the common, I took the Magician of Fate. I do not have a second Magician of Faith. I didn't get one during Dark Beginnings 1, and I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Did you get Penguin Soldier in the set? Did I get Penguin Soldier? Yes. You should check, because Penguin Soldier is no nope. in it. It's no. Nope. Oh. Well, I'm lucky I got Penguin Soldier. That card is actually bouncing cards to your hand actually screws you over sometimes. Especially because you need tributes in your graveyard. I can notice that and let's say I actually made a deck that actually hates a graveyard indirectly and directly. The, pro the problem is that my luck also just kind of sucks. Like... Oh god. No wonder people hated me in my car shop. Like, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. Hunter, look, think about this from my perspective. Yeah. I come from a I come from a mindset where it's like, okay, here is the deck. Here is its objective. This is how. This is the strategy that the deck utilizes to win the game. This is. That's where I'm at right now. And I'm fighting you where you just have a pile of cards and your goal is, hey, win by any means necessary. And I'm like, all right, wh whatever. Like, <laughs> Actually, I take like ideas of, I have plan A. If plan A pays, fails, go to plan B. If plan B goes kaput, go to plan C. If plan C goes kaput, then you use plan plan F from outer space or some shit like that. You and have two creature swap, Hunter. I see that. Yes, I have two creature swaps. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. And I saw creature swap and I saw myself, hey, I have a little flip monsters. No, I mean, Wait hey. a second, is that a second vampire lord? Yes, I have, that's a second vampire lord. It's a reprint here in Darwin Guinness 2. 
When I saw the second Vampire Lord, I said, fuck it, I'm going full zombie. I'm going to have a zombie shell with exile cores and tutors and some monarchs it's and Jinsu. Oh, it's just turtle. It's just, it's it's just the turtle despair from the dark. It's just one, two, Great, right, one, two, go, three, four, also. five, six, seven zombie cards. I mean, if I get zombie master, if I get zombie master in a future sense, I I can actually make another zombie deck. You're only you're running chaos stork with two light monsters. Wait. Uh, no, there's Sabor, the Thunder Monarch, and my Shin of Faith. Or three. Yeah, three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. I can actually Wait, ditch. Wait. I can actually ditch the giant there. Okay, the optimal, the optimal deck. If my massive zombie deck would actually kill, but the optimal deck would be like this. Removing the Exile Force, removing the Giant Germs, removing Rhoda, removing War Return Alive by 2, and stick with the Shell. Which is not that's bad. Still, that's still 47 though, that's pretty awkward. It is pretty awkward, but it works. Because See, I don't want to take out Lightning Vortex, because I need to come Lightning Vortex with Night of Sailor. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, I, I mean, let's, let's test the hats. All right, let's see. I use Pot of Greed, draw two cards, upstart, draw one card. Miss not a bad start. What the heck? Okay. Okay, this no, is a bad... that's a good start, Hunter. Okay. It's a decent start. I can actually pinch this. I'll start. I said this. I can actually set the Morphin Jar and set uh, all of this. And it's, it's also another strategy. Okay, this actually is a bad hand. Because I have nothing to combo into. Okay, yeah, that, that's a bad hand. Uh... This is not so bad. Oh, okay, depending, depending on what I get. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. This is actually kind of bad. But I have resources for other turns. You have one copy of MSP. I can use this. I can use this. I can draw two. Um... And I could do this. This is a good turn. Okay, this is actually a bad hand. We can I mean this is a bad hand. But we can't I have MS Mirror Force, so I can actually sit with this. Yeah, you can live through this hand, but it's pretty bad. This is actually not bad. I can actually yeah, not that but it's bad. There's nothing to combo into. Having Book of Life and Pyramid Turtle is good. It's like insanely good. Start. I think I get the idea. Like... Basically, uh, my deck is like because it tutors itself like so much. I have two card, many card draw engines, and I can stall with cards like Lightning Vortex, Phoenix Wing Blast, something to annoy you. I can get to my big guys, normally the Vampire Lord or the Chaos Sorcerer, and then just go control. Because I've seen it, you can deal with a Vampire Lord. Yeah. You can't deal with the Vampire Lord. You have to use Mr. Bottom Star Trample. And there that's where Jinso comes in. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm just see now I'm in a weird spot because it's like, okay, where do I put my power? Like because I'm still running the creator at this point. Like Okay, ask yourself this. Um, how many times have you actually drawn the creator and actually used the incarnate creator combo with the creator? I used it, it like twice. It was and I then think I, once. I used I think it was once, and on top of that, like I did manage to normal draw it and tribute summon it twice. <laughs> I'll ask, you, ask yourself this. How many times have you summoned Parshat? Parshat is like a lot. a lot. 
See? Basically, you, yeah, now you're making a radio. How Try many it. times have I... Hunter? Yes? I'm gonna ask myself this. How many times have I summoned Jinzo? Uh, twice. Nope, once. What? I summoned Jinzo once. How many times has Jinzo sat in my hand and done absolutely nothing but lose me games because he sat in my hand? All right. Oh, that's right. You have tomato, right? I do have tomato. You have tomato. I don't have which. <laughs> All right. Ask yourself this. Uh, do you have an, a way or do you have a special summon in your turn so you can actually go through your trigger summon monsters? I could pivot into germ. I could swap into germs now. Yeah, having germs is actually very good for triple summon monsters because yeah, you basically normal summon, normal summon. If you attack the germ, I get two monsters, and I can use those monsters to actually uh, summon uh, uh, my big guys. I can go to Sabor, I can go to Jinso, or the uh, Matter Lord. So basically, I get like a turn of power. Yeah, but where do my lights come from, though? Your lights. My chin of faith. You have Shining Angel. I have Shining Angel, but what am I gonna summon off the of Shining Angel? More Shining Angels? That's re that's redundant. Mm. All right. Mm, that's actually hard. Because I can already see in my mind's eye. Okay, I can take out this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and make room for this. But what am I, what am I gonna do to keep up the chaos? Like. Uh, okay, for now, it depends on, on your carpool, it, but... Yeah, my but, carpool is so unusual, like... Like, I could pivot back to Manju, but I don't have a ritual monster that's worth the summon. Hmm... Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah, like, I have the legendary Flame Magician, and while he's good on paper, even back now, he blows up immediately, like... I like, I would actually suggest you use Thunder Dragon just because of its effect to suck itself to the graveyard if you're actually gonna go Thunder turbo. Dra you know what? I just had an idea. Did I just give you an idea? You have three Thunder Dragons? Yeah, I have three. Don't, don't you? Between... I mean, I have, but I don't have too many Chaos Monsters, so it, it, I just ignored it. I just, I just got myself an idea. Oh! Oh, that's I good! Just got my, I just got myself a pretty interesting idea. See? Now the engine is going. Because if you said an idea, okay, I'm gonna build chaos. I have built chaos, but there are some cards in chaos that don't offer something. I mean, Kaiku offers greater control. Parsha is draw engine and piercing. But great, in, great Creator Incarnate and Creator. Wait, no, wait. Creator Incarnate doesn't do anything unless you have Creator in hand. Yeah, Creator. The Creator was cute, but I think his time is up. Yeah, his uh, time is up. Definitely up. Uh, of course, all of this solves itself if you get at least two cyber dragons if you get two cyber dragons huh. you're gonna stick huh. with this deck for like uh even up to the synchro era because cyber dragon is like it's cyber dragon it is cyber dragon uh but yeah i'm gonna stick with this back with this zombie shell because it is actually really good I mean, I can flood the Book of Life in, at infinitum, and actually, I can actually target your light monsters this time. Yeah, you can. I just realized this deck is like made as an anti-meta for you. Isn't that the point? It is the point, because... But here's the thing, I don't know what you do, so I can't counter you. <laughs> ah, yes. Back in the day, they called me like the jack of all stat, but the jack of all insanity. Like the only thing that I could do was Element Doom. Yeah, only to uh, and I get to rid. Wait for Element Doom. I mean, that gets rid of my Fire Pyramid Turtles, and I actually yeah. it, it actually hurts me. It actually hurts me. Hmm. 
I don't have draw like you do, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, me having Pot of Greed and Upstart Goblin and having the Mansion's Bait is just gifting a lot of shenanigans. Especially yeah. because I have Card Scout save return. Like, I swear to God, this is actually becoming like... There was a, a structure deck of zombies before the Red Eye Zombie Dragon deck that used Vampire Lord, Vampire Genesis, and had cards in return, Book of Life, the Turtles, and some other things. So I am actually remembering, hey, this actually used this. So I used part of the structure deck that I remember, and it's working like wonders. Let me see something. Because I, I really, I really don't want to go over, like, a certain number of cards. Because if I do, like, I won't see what I want to see. And I already know I won't. It's why I'm so used to 40-some cards. Because it's like, I know I'll see what I want to see in a timely fashion. Yeah, that's the consistency factor. Yeah. In my case, you just, here's, here's the dilemma. In my case, I know there's 40 cards. Optimally, there's gonna be 40 cards in my deck. Optimally, I know I will get. But if I have more cards in my deck, and basically, it's, okay, this trades off, this trades off, but eventually, you, I want to have more insane options so that people actually don't know what the hell am I doing. Here's the thing, I have options. I have insane options. You saw I have Heavy Storm, Mirror Force, Snatch Steel. Yes. Tribute. Dark Hole. Like, BLS. Like, all the chaos stuff. Like, I have options. Yeah. But luckily for me, um, the removal options you have actually does not matter to the Vampire Lord. You have to actually BLS it, chaos it, or be a spotless shit. And that's like uh, five cards in your deck. I guess something that can actually trigger or revive. Yeah. At, at a, I'm a One, sure. I have BLS. I have Chaos Sork. I can bottomless it. Yeah, you, that's the only way out you have. You can bottomless it. Technically, I can Book of Moon it too. Uh, yeah, you can Book of Moon it and just run over it. Yeah, I can just run him over with Moon. I can negate his summon completely because I have Royal Oppression. Uh, yeah, but Royal Oppression actually kind of screws you over too, I think. I mean... I mean, your bigger big sticks are the Chaos Monsters. True, so maybe, yeah. Maybe not Oppression. Ugh. Um, yeah, maybe Oppression's... Maybe not yet. Uh... Unless you run Jinzo, that's a different thing. Unless I run Jinzo, but here's the thing. When is my one copy of Jinzo gonna come in clutch for my one copy of Oppression? <laughs> that's the issue. That, that's, yeah. the, that's the dichotomy. You just realize, basically, you have to build a deck is around what do I want to do. I, I have an idea. It's I'll have to I'll have to set up a hypothetical because it's it's very different from what I was using previously, but it it, it could be something. Yeah, even I'm starting to think that I have too many sangans actually. You have two. I have two I have two and I have one witch. Which since we're playing traditional and we're playing on the pre-errata or on the errata version of everything, which is okay. Which is not as bleh as which used to be. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been I must been think I have been thinking about that, actually. Yeah. Like, I didn't get Witch or Sangan, and it's like, at least give me the third Sangan, I just want that. Like... The thing I'm actually fearful about your deck is a Snatch Steel. Because that card actually 
So stealing a, a car without actually destroying it, it actually screws me over. And because it's not destruction, you cannot my body it. I have to actually use a car or car with a uh, Phoenix Queen Blast to return to the top of my deck. And not only do I screw me over for my top draw, but I have to discard a card. Yeah. I... In, I even start I... to think that I should get rid of the Liquid Duo at, at this point because I want to have more control than actually paying life to keep you fuel for your chaos. I just, I just realized the Liquid Duo is like a double-edged sword. The Liquid Duo is the best form of control you can get. But Hunter. not against chaos. Against chaos, if I pinch you to your targets, you want to pinch you the graveyard, I'm actually gonna screw myself over. Okay, you're not wrong. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. The Liquid Duo is good if you don't want to, unless your opponent wants those cards in the graveyard. If I probably should have. I mean, if you're saying it like that, it's like, well, I probably should have ran Electric Snake and waited you for you to hit it with the, the Liquid Duo or something. Uh, yeah, that's the magic, the beautiful, the beautiful thing of the Bravery series. Because you know your opponent, you can actually prepare for your opponent. How do I prepare against 16 million things? I mean, you have like one week of preparation. You have, you have the pod that actually... No, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I have the time. Tomorrow I gotta play a whole different uh, type of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Dot format? No. Do I sound like the type of guy that would play Dot format? Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. Yeah. So no, I just had a um. I have a TCG tournament tomorrow, basically. Ooh, uh, good luck out there. It's it's not like a regionals or anything. It's just for fun, but... I mean, yeah. but it's still, it's a tournament. Yeah. Tournaments are actually taken seriously, especially where I am. It's like... It's like contests of honor. <laughs> we actually take Hon our Yu-Gi-Oh! seriously. Honestly, we I've messed around. I've messed around. I've dealt with these people before. It's very light. Like, like, well, <laughs> sometimes we won't let people live some things down, but other than that, it's like, yeah, we dueled, whatever, it's cool. Yeah. Let's I, just have a good time with the boys. Yes, I, I, I know that feeling, but yeah, when we sit on the table, it's like, you're my opponent, I will take you down. It's, it's, it's that, it's that, it's that feeling. We yeah, know it's, how to it's be. cutthroat. It's like, cutthroat. I I haven't had to deal with cutthroat in a while, like... Yeah, this week I actually upped my game. I actually thought, no, I don't want a repeat of last, last week, of the of two weeks prior. So I said to myself, okay, what do I get? I'm gonna use it. And I, luckily I got a second Vampire Lord, Book of Life, and okay, yeah, let's go with the zombie route. I, I think I didn't... I honestly think I didn't, um... I came in okay. I don't I don't blame myself for the mindset that I came into with this week because I knew the reprints were gonna happen. Yeah. And I'm... I figured, okay. I have a really good core. Yes. I have a really good deck. Mm -hmm. The reprints are only going to make this deck better. Mm -hmm. And I thoroughly believe it did. But at the cost of consistency consistency and at the same time my luck also really shafted me and i didn't get the third sand game which i really really wanted um basically this is what people actually try to minimize the cards of a deck because oh shit because they don't have too much luck oh god okay maybe it gets that lucky <laughs> <laughs> You're just that lucky. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're right. I'm an anime protagonist. That's the funny. only thing I'm missing is the spiky hair. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is the spiky hair. Yeah, you oh, don't wait, have no. I have an Apollo. Yeah, I have spiky hair. Oh, God. 
No, Hunter, you're. It's not bad. It, it's not bad. Like, you you don't have jagged, multicolored like Picasso art hair. Like, you're fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're right. But at the same time, I'm not gonna let you live. I'm not gonna let you live down that fact that you're like. If you can make a deck like this, Hunter, if you look like actual decks in the anime, they look like this. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I was thinking, oh wow, this thing actually feels like a deck Yugi would actually build. See, the way I put this, there are... I call these satellite decks as a 5Ds reference. Mm -hmm. Or just like... Yeah, it's just something you can scrounge from whatever you got. But at the same time, it's like... You say it's from Satellite. <laughs> it's just so... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have like 13 years of experience. Bruh, so do I. Like... Like, I know how to play this game. I just don't know how to play this game. In the past. In the past from before I knew how to play the game. Ah, uh, sometimes but, I'm glad I was beaten to the ground with all cards. Like, this is all kind of foreign to me. It, it still is, to this... Like, as soon as I thought I was gonna... Like, I had a handle on it, because I won all of the week before vacation. And honestly, I'm really glad that happened, because... I'm still, like... I still was riding that high in uh, after my break, but uh, now I'm back and it's like, hey, don't forget, you have your, you're not quite done with DM yet. Yeah, you this is the swan song of DM actually. Yeah, um, so, we're going to GX. Yeah, we're starting with Lost Millennium. This is gonna be the debut of the ancient gear, the elemental heroes, and what else? Uh, there's some rock support. Yeah, there was some rock support. The Sphinx, there was some Sphinx in the yeah. next set. Creepy! Hello, Anthony, welcome! We were just finishing this episode of the progression we are doing. Hola! Yep. How is that? Just having a quick. Yeah, just having a quick discussion. Yeah, um, we were just talking about uh, their beginnings one and two. And oh, uh, set the repeats, the their beginnings. I am just yeah, I uh, I, I got my place at a polymerization. I'm ready. I got my play set of polymerization. I'm ready for what's next. I like, have my set of polymerization too. I have fusion stage, I have the fusion too. I have refusion, I got my fusion gates, I got like I, I'm ready. For, yeah. If I if I splash in fusions, I'm ready. I mean, we're gonna get the elemental heroes, but let's face it, elemental heroes in the start of the GX era were not that good. No hay de que tenemos un duelo aunque probablemente me ganes. So, y, uh, actualmente estamos ahorita acabando este, el, el stream. Eh, hemos tenido este, ya unos, unos duelos y yo también estaba acabando de un gran stream de, de Genshin Impact, así que estoy tomando mi descanso. Basically, I stream for too long, so I'm taking yes, a rest. Yes, I need a rest. Yes, you do. Look at the look at the runtime. You yes. stream for too long. I stream for too long. I was playing Genshin. I was testing out how good Genshin is, and I'm actually kind of surprised about Genshin. Ah, bueno, la próxima será. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking so too. Next next week, la próxima semana también vamos a volver a regresar con Yu-Gi-Oh. Va a ser la siguiente semana también la semana de progresión. Next week also also gonna be the progression series, so you can come in by maybe before or after, so I can actually just scrunch my old deck from those days. Huh, I'm getting gotta, used to, I'm getting used to I actually gotta do switch. Some thinking. Yeah. It's, it's late, bro. I gotta do some thinking. Well, mm. first I have to do some thinking about modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And after that I gotta think about old Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! on my brain for a little bit. Mm. Uh, I, 
Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this age. Let's 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 chill just out go to the next the era. Let's chilling out with the crew in the school schoolyard. But in trouble just now. I forgot a song. Never working too hard. Something or other. <laughs> something or other. Hopefully, I don't hit and miss. Something or other. Like. I, yeah, it's so catchy the theme song, but at the same time, get your game on. Get your game, man. Get your game on. All right. Well, guys, that was all for today. So I'm just gonna find a target to raid. Who's I actually... just realized I see a single copy of Mind Crush and a single copy of Gravity Bind in your side deck. I mean, is that autonomous action unit? Yes. Okay. So here's the thing. I was getting scared because in Dark Beginners 1, I was pulling parts of Exodia. And I said, oh my so god. So was I. But I missed the head. Nobody get. Neither of us got the head, okay. No, I didn't got the head, but I sort of got. If I pull the head, I would actually, actually try to do a um, very stall deck to actually just win with Exodia once. I was gonna. I was um, drawing pieces of the Destiny board, and it's like, you know what? I'll play the Destiny board if I, I get it. I got Destiny board, but that uh, I tried in real life. It's not worth it, especially. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's... And if you miss, you lock yourself out of spaces of your yeah. your spell track and sort. So I said to myself, it's not worth it. It's not worth it's it, not man. Worth it. It's not worth it. I was gonna do it because it's like, you know what? That Let's means. have some fun. Yeah, the memes. It's kind of why I started using the creator, but the creator actually worked. Um. Yeah, but when I got uh, cards that actually went against the creator and surpassed your chaos engine, that's when the creator actually became a liability. The creator became a liability because of the effectiveness of the cards that we have. Now mm. we have a big power boost, and the creator does not. Uh, the creator did not catch up with that. Yeah, so. I mean, if you compare the creator with Vampire Lord, Vampire Lord comes out faster. Vampire Lord is easier to just normal summon, and it sticks. Oh, it's zero. Hi, zero. Zero. I Hi. Lost. How you doing? I lost two zero. Hey. I lost oh two because it's DM, and Come my luck sucks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I> me. <mean, laughs> you're doing good. That's good, man. How's your stream? Did you stream today, right? He did stream today, from what I know. You did stream today, right? Either way, like... <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to, I'm ready for a switch up. Mm-hmm. Onto using main protagonist power again. Yes. <laughs> oh my... No, I'll, here's I'll, the thing. I'll, I'll there it. were a couple... Here's the thing. There were a couple of times where I actually had victory in my hands, like really close. And then he just pulled something out of nowhere and it's like, oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, most people that I know we call it, you pull that out of your ass. Or the top of your deck, or harder cards bullshit again, Hunter. Yeah. You must press the run of Chris. Right? Oh, okay. It sucks? Oh, yeah. Don't tell me about it. It sucks. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but yeah, Heart of the Cards, they were in my favor last time, they're not in my f they were not in my favor today. I don't know when they're ever gonna be in my favor again, because they rarely are. <laughs> Usually, uh, almost all the bullshit is around MST. You have one copy of MST. And I use it powerfully. Please run here, 300, one room. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, oh. I feel you there, buddy. Alright guys, I think that's enough. Alright. That's enough. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm, let's see... Oh, Diamond is playing Monster Hunter Stories. Do you don't mind actually going to see Monster Hunter Stories? I don't want spoilers, because I'm playing the game myself. Oh, okay, okay, I know, okay. okay. I know June is special... Uh, uh, bleh, June is celebrating a milestone for his channel. Oh, uh, June? Alright. Yeah, he came back, he came by, so let's just yeah, say hi to June. Yeah. That's a good idea. I haven't talked to June in forever, man. Oh, uh, zero. Zero says for the question. Are you gonna play Back for Blood tomorrow? I haven't downloaded Back for Blood. <laughs> I actually. Okay, let's 
listen, I had no two RPGs that I haven't finished. I haven't finished Neo the Worms with you and Shin Megami Tensei 3 to open a space for mm, games like Genshin Impact, um, Sonic, and 